Woo. Welcome back to Southern Extreme TV, guys. It is a special day here in North Carolina. It is the last day of archery season. I, I, you know, that's kind of a vague statement because obviously you can archery hunt year round, or not year round, but once season comes in. But tomorrow morning, muzzleloader season comes in. We've got muzzleloader for two weeks, then we've got rifle. So today is my last day with a stick and string. And I would be lying if I told you that I was not excited. And I put on the rally hat. This is a different hat that I've been wearing all season. It's got the rental logo on it. Just you gotta, you gotta change it up. We've had some bad, bad luck, guys. Oh, we need some good luck. We need lady luck on our side this afternoon. So I'm gonna load up, head over to uh, head over to the property, and hopefully, fingers crossed, we can make it happen either tonight or tomorrow morning. So should be fun, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. fingers crossed I think this wind is gonna lie down this afternoon and I, I've got a really good chance of these deer showing up so let's just stay hopeful guys hope for the best pulled the uh, pulled the SD card I've got three photos that are pretty dang cool out of this spot the first one is kind of hard to see so bear with me hopefully you can see it That's a black bear. I have never, never, ever gotten a picture of a black bear. Now let me show you the next photo. This was the afternoon before you last. So not yesterday afternoon, but the afternoon before that eight pointer was standing there. So he was there two days ago in the afternoon, and then he was there the next morning, which was yesterday morning in daylight. So I think, I think I've picked a good spot to hunt this afternoon and tomorrow morning. He's showing up pretty regular. I've got a good wind because the camera is set right here. The deer is actually coming out of this field. So he's coming off this wood line somewhere and walking up basically right at me between this little gap. And the wind is like the complete opposite direction of where he's, he's coming from. All right guys, so it is the next morning opening day of muzzleloader season. Seen one <clears throat> little bitty buck last night and didn't have enough time to get him on film. So I left all my camera gear up there. So it should be nice and simple and easy getting up in the stand and getting all my stuff set up. So uh, Uncle John's here, Dad's here, Dad's going to another property. Me and John are actually both going to go over here to this property and try to tag team this eight point. Should be a good morning. It's about 27, 28 degrees um that's what you want 
I'm excited. I'm so glad I don't have this stick and string in my hand no more. So let's go get in the woods and hopefully we're gonna shoot that big eight. Well guys, it just now got, it just now got filming live. I've had deer back here behind me in the hardwoods and on the edge of this cut over running around all over the place. I think we're going to see some deer. We just seen our first deer. It's about 15 minutes after eight. It was a very small young buck with like a six or seven point buck. It is cold, baby. So if that buck is still coming from down there, then last night the wind was completely off. It was completely wrong. And this morning the wind would have been right, which could explain why I seen two bucks coming from that way. So I'm gonna come back here and hunt this afternoon. Um, I'm gonna get down and go get me some food. I am starving, I'm cold. My feet hurt, but man, I love it. Awesome morning. Um, I mean, get down, I'll see you guys this afternoon. Well guys, welcome back. It is the afternoon. Uh, me and dad are loading up, or we're loaded up. I'm going back over to that spot that I hunted this morning and yesterday afternoon. Um, seen the two fox yesterday afternoon and then seen two bucks this morning, two smaller young bucks. Got a good feeling that this buck's gonna be coming through there at some point. So dad's gonna go down and hunt the bottom where my uncle hunted this morning. My uncle actually seen four or five deer. I can't remember exactly how many he said he seen, but he's uh, one spike, I believe, and the rest were does. And then up top where I was at, it was just two small bucks, and that was all that I seen. We're gonna go over here, I've got all the camera gear, all that stuff's already set up in the tree, ready to go. Um, Pretty much, I just gotta walk up, get up in the stand, and start hunting. Should be good, guys. Hopefully, we drop the hammer on one this afternoon. Hi, baby. Kill big. I will. Let me know what you see. These deer were moving this morning like crazy. I think they're gonna be moving this afternoon. The only issue is the moon. 
I think the moon phase is going to get us in the afternoons, but I think the mornings are going to be jammed up. Oh yeah, we are set up and ready to go, guys. I've only shot one deer with this uh, CVA muzzleloader. It was two years ago, it was a doe. Never shot a buck with it. I'm hoping tonight I'm going to break it in the right way. I just don't think I want to shoot him with a gun. I mean, I, he was looking at me, but... <clears throat> he was looking at me, but I could have shot him. They probably wasn't, but 50 yards away. One of the last pictures I got of that big eight point, he was actually with that spot that just came through. And then obviously, that seven pointer, he's been running with that deer all year long. So there's a great chance that that eight point buck is in this area somewhere. Dad just shot. Let's go. Dad was not going to shoot tonight, unless it's a good deer. He may have whacked that seven-pointer. I'm going to give it just a minute, because we're using a muzzle loader, so I want to give him time to reload. Once he, uh, once he reloads, I'll give it, or once I give him a little bit of time, I'll give him a call. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Dude, I'm fired up. <clears throat> he didn't call me back, but he texted me. I got another buck in the field right now, but he's small. Dude, if I would've shot that seven point, we would've killed the two biggest deer. 
that we've got on this property. Oh, man. I'm going to send him a text back and ask him if he's down. Dude, I am shaking. That is awesome, man. Just got a call from Dad. Said that it was the big eight. Said that he shot, he fell. Kind of took off running into the thick stuff and crashed. And started flopping around. So, I got my stuff packed up. And I'm doing the... I'm doing the quick step to the truck. I was gonna walk down there, but I was like, I'm gonna walk right by the truck. Why would I not drive my chubby little self down there? Let's go! We left the keys in the floorboard of the truck, so I ain't gotta walk back up this hill. Woo! <laughs> we are headed to go pick up this deer. We hope. Dad uh, still has not told me if he's found it yet. But I'm being optimistic. My dad's a pretty good shot. I know, I think he, Dad uses an older 54 caliber muzzleloader that shoots a big old lead ball. And that thing does not play when it hits something. Let's get on down here and find him. The deer pops out, go away in this corner over here. Mm -hmm. Walks up to here. Right here to these trees. Turns broadside. Just pretty easy, please. Safety all, squeeze the trigger, snap. No. Yeah, the cat, it, the cat busted the gun didn't go off. Oh my God. I was up there trying to take my thing out of my pocket. Get my cap on. I get my cap on. You know where it went. Then he's facing me. Yeah. Didn't have a shot. They feed. Going up through here, he comes up. He's he's about to come right to me. I thought. Then he stops and he turns around and he gets right there at that big tree. And there's a limb. It's got a V on it. And he stops right in it. And I just put the gun on him and I go. He goes. Ch boom. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> Smoke is everywhere. Those those two deer went that way. I, this one I never seen, but I, I could hear him. He sounded like he was, he was thrashing around while I was yeah. trying to look good. He, he fed. <coughs> he come out over there and walked right straight up to where this corn's pulled. And then he started feeding way down here and he worked his way up and turned bright. I'm talking about. It's perfect as can be. And they wasn't a twig or nothing in the way. Nothing. And I go, snap. <laughs> me and him both go. At the same time, me and him both go. Oh, well, guys, just as a heads up, we've got the deer dead right up here. I am gonna let uh, I'm gonna let you go first, just in case. I would take your gun off, just in case. He looks pretty dead. I ain't got no blood. No. Look at that, man. Let's go. Let's go! Just the odds of everything that had to happen to not. Look at the body on him. <laughs> yeah, baby. We've been chasing this yeah, baby. We've been chasing this thing. Oh, man. This deer's been wearing us out all year. Look at the body on this deer, though. Holy smokes. For everything that happened and it's still to come together, it's perfect, man. Let's get him drugged, we're, guys. We're gonna get him drugged down here, and let's get a better, let's get him get a better like photo video of him. <laughs> well, guys, this right here is what the heck it's all about. I'm sorry if you guys can't see us. We're in the old hard body Yoda trying to use the headlights as uh, as lights to film with. But man, this deer right here, how long have we had this deer on camera? All season. All season? All season. 
We had this deer in velvet. We had him early season. We had him mid season. We had him through the October lull. And then finally he started showing back up in daylight. Uh, I actually had an encounter with this deer two afternoons in a row in daylight hours and could not get it done with a bow. So since then we've been in here chasing him hard, hard, hard with a muzzleloader. This is, uh, this is opening day of muzzleloader. <laughs> and uh, man, I'm telling you, what a awesome buck. When's the, when's the last time you shot a deer with a muzzleloader? You don't remember? I don't remember. <laughs> so definitely the biggest deer with a muzzleloader. Oh, yeah, by far. <laughs> and guys, I know y'all, a lot of these guys out west, man, this by, by no means is, a, is a, a western deer or something you guys are going to kill out there. But for North Carolina, this is a phenomenal, phenomenal deer, especially with the property that we have, with the people that hunt around us. This is a top-notch, good quality deer. This is what we try to shoot, man. And it's just a good, mature, big-bodied, rutted-up buck. And to get it done with a muzzleloader, on top of the fact that you, you squeeze one off and it snaps, <laughs> you cock it back, put a new cap on, <laughs> and shoot, and then there's a delay on the second shot. Yeah. And you're still able to pull it off all while this deer is in the field and make a good double lung kill shot on this buck. And he ran maybe, what, 15 yards out of the field and, and collapsed over and died right there. But man, this is just an awesome hunt, guys. It's like I told y'all up there in the stand. This is probably, I think this is probably the third buck, good buck that you've shot while we've been somewhat hunting together. Yeah. Um, there's not been a lot of them, and it's just every one of them just means the world. I mean, it's these are the moments that, these are the moments that you <laughs> that you keep forever. You know, whenever whenever we're old and uh, you know can't can't make it out in the woods no more. This is the stuff that you remember, and the fact that I get it's not the, the size of the buck. That's right, not the size. It's the fun of the hunt. <laughs> fun of the hunt. That's exactly it. Good friends, good fellowship. Um, and then when it all comes together, man, it just, it, it makes everything so much better. And to be able to capture it all, not all on film, but the majority of it on film and share it with you guys means everything to me. Um, and the fact that you guys are taking the time out of your busy day to watch what I've got going on here at Southern Extreme TV, it, it really does mean the world to me, guys. So if you enjoyed today's video, you enjoyed what I've got going on, make sure you hit that subscribe button in the top left corner. I'm trying to grow this thing as big as I can. The community uh, around Southern Extreme TV is already growing and is continuing to grow. And each and every one of you guys that hits that button, man, it just gets bigger and bigger. So let's grow this thing and see how big we can get it. This is the first good buck down of the season. The season is still early. We still got tags to fill. We still got some other big bucks around. It should be a good season. If they keep moving like this, there's no telling what we're going to be able to put on the ground this year. So, guys, thanks for hanging out with me. It means the world to me. <laughs>